So guys, my BFF Danielle, aka Tray Chat, tagged me in an internet questions video, and uh, yeah, I finally found the free time to do it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that today for you. Now before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and uh, say the five people that I tagged in this video, because you're supposed to continue it on. Um, now since most of the people that I know very well over the internet or in real life have already been tagged and done their videos, I'm going to say people that I respect and um, I don't I don't really actually think these people will respond to the video because they A either don't know who I am or B are just way too busy but uh, yeah I'm gonna tag them anyways because <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to do oh besides Jesse Jesse has already been tagged but he has not done one and I respect the man to no end and he's just amazing. So Jesse from OMFG Canada, you are the first person that I tag and there's nothing that you can do about it because I just I just did it. <laughs> Number two is gonna be Lily's R like. She is just a huge inspiration to me. I absolutely adore the woman and she may be the sweetest person I I know and ever <laughs> so yeah number two I'd love to hear your answers to these questions uh, number three would be TV the man is just brilliant there's there's nothing else to say that word just describes him he's brilliant uh, number four is Charlie from Charlie so cool like he is just he's amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and attack him too and at number five is gonna be hi I'm Ron he is an inspiration as well. So those are the five people that I'm going to tag. Now, I like I said before, I don't expect them to do it. They're either really busy or they have no idea who I am. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting sick. <laughs> okay, question number one is, what is the best and worst year of school for you? Ah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty uh, difficult question there because most of my schooling was was not good I was one of those kids that got picked on tormented harassed you name it they called me it 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 was just that experience was not good there were two years though that I did really enjoy and that's when I went to an all-girls school and don't say it's no no it, it's not because it was all girls that's weird we got to do so much community work and we helped charities and it was just it was a lot of fun I really enjoyed helping out with the community and helping uh, do charity work and raising money for things and it was pretty fun and I miss it I, I would love to do more of that number two is haircut that you wish you could pull off in that one <laughs> that's that right there I, I totally wish I could do that haircut and I, I no my, I think that the head shape is wrong but it would be cool number three if you could live as a character in a movie who would it be and why huh that's that's a difficult one could it be a TV show instead? I'm, I'm going to do TV show instead because honestly I would totally be Amy Pond so I could go around in the TARDIS and travel the universe and past and future. That would be amazing. That's the life of, or really any of his companions. It doesn't have to be Amy Pond even though that she's gorgeous so I wouldn't mind that. But, uh, yeah, that's who I would be. Okay, number four is who's your favorite YouTuber? And now this one's really difficult for me because it's just, I know a lot of YouTubers and I adore and love them all and they're all amazing. So I think the only way to keep this fair is to mention someone that I do think is amazing but I don't know personally. And uh, that would be Charlie from Charlie So Cool Like. And the reason why he's so amazing is because he's just, he may... <laughs> his quality in videos is just it's really up there like he doesn't just put anything out it's he puts a lot of time and effort into his videos and I love his challenge Charlie videos which usually involves him doing something incredibly stupid like uh, painting himself <laughs> or um, there's also his fun science videos which I obviously love because I love science 
So that would probably be my favorite YouTuber. Uh, number five is make up a word. What does it mean? Um, <laughs> oh goodness. Well, we did that. Cheaplets. And uh, that's you. The, those are my viewers. It's my cheaplets. Uh, number six, amusement park or laying in bed? Believe it or not, I, I love laying in bed, okay, but I would actually go to the amusement park. I live in Kansas. I don't get to go to amusement parks very often. So, uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely do amusement park. Uh, number seven, weirdest thing you've been asked by a parent. Well, does it have to be my parent? Because I have had parents come into the store before and ask really weird things. This, uh, this family came in once with a very small child and he pooped. <laughs> he pooped on the floor of the store, even though that he told his family, like, I don't know, six times that he had to use the bathroom and they just kept telling him that they would leave in a minute. I don't even know how he did it. He was like a ninja. He just squatted and, and pooped. And then the mother asked me if I wanted her to clean it up. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, I'm sorry. Is your child a dog? Um, no, I'm not gonna clean your kid's poop off my floor. I promptly handed her some paper towels. And they left shortly after that with her child's poop. Okay, uh, da, 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 da. number eight, favorite vegetables. That's really difficult. I'm, I know that's probably easy for some people because most individuals, at least that I know, dislike vegetables entirely. But I happen to love all vegetables. It's just the way my mom raised me. She called me a little bunny rabbit. I just eat everything. I just can't choose. I can't choose. Number nine, current crush. That will and most likely always be David Tennant. He's just my favorite doctor ever. <laughs> uh, number ten, if you had a dragon, what would you name it? Oh, goodness. I guess it would depend on what type of dragon it was. Can my dragon fly? Does it, does it look like a Charizard? Because if it looked like a Charizard, I would probably name it Charizard or Char Char. That would be cute. I would, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, number 11. If an alien wanted to own you as a pet, it would treat you well, but you wouldn't technically be free any longer. Would you go willingly? What? Okay, so he would treat me well, him or her would treat me well, but I would be their pet. So it would be kind of like my relationship between me and my dog. I don't think I'm, I like being a dog, even though that my dog seems happy. I don't know. Could I travel the universe? I guess that would be the big question. Would they take me out and uh, show me different planets and stuff? Because that, I, I would, I might be a pet for that, to travel. Do we get to go in, through s space and time? Cause that, I mean, there's so many questions here that would need to be answered before I would make up my decision. So we'll, we'll just continue on. Uh, number 12, what superpower would you choose? Huh. That's difficult because there's so many, so many questions are difficult in this. So. Flying. <laughs> it's not going to help many people, <laughs> but I'm just going to go with flying. Uh, 13. What do you put on your hot dogs? Obviously, you'd put it in a bun, and uh, it, it depends. Does this hot dog have cheese already inside? Because I would probably put cheese on it, because it's delicious when there's melted cheese all over the hot dog. I don't know. Okay, let's do mustard, ketchup, onions are good. Relish is always nice. I don't know, what else do you put on your hot dog? If it's in front of me, I will try it. I will put it on my hot dog and try it. Well guys, that's about it. Before I go, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for voting for Trish and I in King of the Web. There's two days left and we're in the third spot, which we, we wouldn't have been able to get there without you guys. We're happy with the third and we'd like to keep it. 
So all of your votes are appreciated, and I just, I can't thank you enough. Uh, I think it's 500 if we get third, and that would be, that's, that's just amazing, because... That's enough to put down a down payment on a different place and get Trish and I out of this neighborhood. And that's really the only reason why we were running, because this neighborhood is just not that great. I'll <laughs> just leave it at that. I, I, it's scary. Okay. <laughs> now that I've gotten all that out there, I'm just going to go ahead and say I love you guys. I hope to hear from all the people that I tagged. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.